Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobak. Please step inside. <laughs> Do we have it? Fantastic. Did the pulse originate here? Has someone... Something wrong? Shit! Spectres! Beta! Any idea what the hell a clone of Elizabeth Sobek is doing here? Maybe Gaia made one, when it destroyed itself a Hail Mary to repair the system. Hmm. <laughs> don't like the sound of that. Nah, don't like it. Don't want it. But the if- Nope. One's enough trouble. Eric! Yeah? Care to do a little downsizing? Hmm. Sure. What if she sent the pulse? Then that was foolish of her. But we got what we came for. So let's put it to use. I snap a lot of necks in VR. But that certain tremor, as life fades from the eyes. Ooh! No hollow quite gets it. Keep flapping your mouth. It makes a nice target. You actually think that primitive crap you got there can hurt me? This is gonna be fun. Oh, I wish this could go on forever, don't you? But all good things... That right, I'm not hurting him. I need to get out of here. Is the whole processor down? I gotta use that console to make it drop more. <laughs> yeah! He's too close. I won't make it. Break you, girl. That's supposed to be a weapon. You're not safe over there. Don't leave. I can break the cover. You don't know the hollow. I'm not hurting him.
Gonna help, girl. Come on. Come at me. Oh, gotta yeah. them. You want. Machine! All the fun. was that? Me killing what you wanted dead? What the hell did you think? The platform collapsed, body went with it. Right. And since when don't you get what you want, huh? Spectres, search. There's a current. Might be a way under this.
How to get out of here? Going somewhere to a way out. Some kind of power room. Currents lead here. Promising. I've... I've got it. Hey, hey, easy. Easy there. Hey, 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 hey. It's right here. And the way you were clutching it when I found you, I knew it was important. Where are we? An outpost of the Utaru tribe. Not far from where you fell. How long? 
two days. Aloy? There's no time. I found something. In the mountains west of Plains Song. Yeah. Kept muttering it while I carried you. Look, Aloy, whatever it is that you found, you're in no shape to... I will crawl if I have to. Okay, fine. But before you do that, there's someone you should talk to. An Utaru named Zo. She told me there's been trouble in those mountains. A cave spitting out deadly machines. Can't be a coincidence, right? Why do we need her? Let's head for the cave. It's in Utaru territory. Her territory. She can help us. You'll see. Let's go see this marvelous so then. As verdant limbs wither, roots rot in snow, still the seed rises as certain as stone. So? She should be in bed. Aloy doesn't really do should. You're so right. Varl said I should talk to you about the machines in the mountains west of Plainsong. I am a grave singer. My place is here. We can talk once you've healed. What's wrong with it? Her. The name is Ray, not it. She's one of our land gods, and she's dying. But not just dying. She's suffering. Her condition is not your concern. So, if anyone can help, it's Aloy. May I? So what I'm about to do might look bad, but it will help. Spear. The mountains, west of Plainsong. No trouble out there? The Utaru have trouble everywhere. Our fields blighted, our settlements abandoned. But the cave in the mountains is the worst of it. It is a sacred place. Fa, another of our land gods, went inside weeks ago, but she hasn't emerged. Killer machines pour out instead, threatening to overwhelm us. It's never happened before. Wouldn't be your first sacred cave. You said the tribe has trouble with its fields and settlements. Yes. Whereas once the land gods harvested endless bounty from the fields, now they sow a poisonous blight. War brews among the Tanakh, so their rebels prowl our outskirts. And the machines grow ever more aggressive, hemming us in. Forcing us to desert distant villages. Now they're even coming out of our sacred cave. Many in the tribe fear our days are dwindling. I wish I could tell you it was better everywhere else. 
Not that we're gonna lose hope. Ray and other machines like her, you call them gods? Land gods, yes. For generations, they provided for us, seeding and harvesting the fields of plain song. Food for all, a miracle of endless bounty. A farm run by machines. More than a farm, a blessed land providing sustenance for my people until the derangement. You called yourself a grave singer. What does that mean? To all living things, an end must come. It is my task to ease the passage. I try to bring comfort and sing of the renewal that death sows the way for. But I never thought I would have to sing for one of our land gods. I don't even know if Ray heard me. What you did soothed her more than I ever could. It's not your fault, so. And without the second sight, there's nothing more you could have done. So the cave is sacred because machines like Ray and the one you call Fa go inside? Yes. Before the derangement, each land god left the fields and made a pilgrimage to the cave. Always in the same order. Doe first, then Ray, then me, and so on. Spattered with soil from their labors, each reappeared two days later, shining anew, without so much as a scratch. All soil and ornaments of worship washed away. The tribe celebrated each return as one of the eight hollowed festivals of our calendar. But the derangement changed the cycle. Yes. Or so we thought. Over time, the land gods stopped the ritual, becoming crazed and brittle. But three weeks ago, Fa trudged inside. The entire tribe lifted their voices in song, praying that the cycle had begun again. Fa has not emerged. What has our machines built to kill? Are machines being made inside? Like in a cauldron? Sounds like it. But the way these land gods come and go, it's not like anything I've seen before. So what happened to the land gods after the derangement? They faltered year by year. Once they were peaceful. Now they turn on us when we approach, even attack us. They'd always enrich the soil, but for several seasons they've glutted it endlessly with mulch. The fields have turned fetid. A blight that keeps spreading, even beyond our lands. We used to have food for all. Now we... We barely have enough to feed our children. Must be over fertilization. Spread by spores, maybe? I don't know. That's not even the end of it. Each land god used to visit the sacred cave once a year, but no longer. Without the rituals of renewal, they've fallen apart. Like Ray. They're dying. And my tribe with them. I need to get into that cave. What? No one does that. Well, it's time to make an exception. It belongs to the land gods. Look, so. There is something inside there. Something that could solve problems all over the world. The storms, the derangement. <laughs> Maybe even your broken land gods. What? could possibly do all that. A spirit? Yeah. 
Something like that. I could journey back to Plainsong, assemble the chorus, tell how you soothed Ray, ask their permission to go inside. Great. I'll get my things. <laughs> She needs rest. You don't have to tell me. Okay, I'm fine. Assembling the chorus will take time. Heal first, then join me. Fine. Bed rest. I got it. She does not need you to help her heal. You could come with me to plain song. Lend your voice to mine as I try to persuade the chorus. It might help her cause. I'd like to, but I'm afraid she might run off. Really? Very well. Later then. So, wait. It's not a uh that I don't want to go with you. It's just that I... Shh. <laughs> Is that what you were trying to say? Um... Yes. Then I look forward to more conversation. Uh, yeah, me too. <clears throat> You're supposed to be resting. Laurel, you should go with her. I'll get better on my own. You trying to get rid of me so you can... <sighs> this time. I'll meet up with you in plain song when I'm ready. You sure about this? Yes. Go. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay. So, wait. Who are they? <laughs> 